Boom Town, welcome back to Three Minute Thursday. This is, so I've got a board there of all the, all the moves. Like, this is episode nine. And again, this is another one of the, the signature moves I used to do. It looks like this. It's another snatchy moves. People love snatchy moves, so I've, I've put a lot of them into this one. Now this move, I do say it's a signature move, but I remember when I was performing it back in the early 2000s, somebody sent me a video of somebody performing the same move at a competition called Scruples. That's a whole nother story. I'm gonna show you how I do this move, okay? So you may have noticed I'm holding the shaker upside down when I begin this move. So I'm holding it like this, okay? Finger and thumb, like that. Bottle in between those three fingers, okay? And again, I'm standing sideways on to the bar. Everyone's looking this way. I don't want to do it this way towards people. I want to do it this way. It's more visually appealing, it looks better, and it's easier because you've got a lot more space. So, the reason I'm holding it this way, and you should try and experiment with things like this. If you're trying to do a move, you don't always have to hold it in like this. You don't have to hold it like this. You don't have to hold it like this. There's many different ways you can hold and throw a tin. So experiment. That's how I did, I experimented and I came up with this move because I wanted the tin co to come over and catch it like this. It was just a simple single throw to catch it in this position. So it comes up like this, comes over and it's exactly in the position that I need to catch it and the bottle is next to it and I follow the bottle and catch it because the bottle is only doing like a, a spin and a half. So the bottle is doing this. The bottle is a normal throw that you would do for an over the shoulder. So I'm holding it in these three fingers to get used to it, okay? And I'm just gonna throw it over gently. I need a little bit of height and that's it. So you just have to focus on that bottle throw. Don't worry about the tin. The tin will come over in the position that you need it if you throw the bottle correctly. Holding the tin near the base, very, very low to the base because that's gonna reduce the amount of spin that you get on the tin excuse me, uh, and you wanna just pull it up, okay? And then the bottle will come over, I'll show you again. Up, <laughs> See the bottle even comes over nice and slow, but it's just in the right position to give it a good old snatcher rooney, okay? Try it with a pl 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 plastic bottle to begin with. Uh, and what may start happening is that the tin doesn't fly how you want it to do. So if that happens, then start focusing on just the throw with the tin. Okay, even letting loose, so you're holding the tin in between your finger and your thumb. You can try and do that. Some people find that easier. Okay, it's just hanging from your fingers. So you just have to just let go of it like this. Sometimes if you're holding it there, people end up throwing it at the back of their arm like this. So if you're just holding it between your finger and your thumb, it's nice and loose, you see? Okay, and then you just focus on throw over the shoulder nice and gently, and you should be able to get this move with enough practice. You can try holding the tin in a different way and snatching it in a different way, um, but there's many ways you can upgrade this move as well. So you can catch it into a paw, you can catch it into like a, a reverse tennis nest. Uh, but again, it's a nice energy, uh, energy filled move. Is that a right word? Anyway, it's a nice move to perform. I enjoy performing it. I hope that you enjoy performing it too. Let me know how you go on. Tag me on Instagram with how you're doing with these moves. Um, and until next time, see you then.